Hello stampers and welcome to Laura's Stamp Pad. I am so excited that the August to December 2020 Stampin' Up! mini catalog is out and on like the first page is this fabulous all-inclusive kit that I fell in love with the minute I saw it. I absolutely love all-inclusive kits because anybody can do them since it comes with all the supplies to create the project inside. This card kit actually makes 15 total cards with coordinating envelopes. And the super cool thing about this is you can do these cards as, um, as a photo card going in both portrait and landscape, but you could also do it as a regular card in both portrait and landscape. So let's go through this kit and see what all it entails. Of course, it does come in this fabulous craft box, which you can, of course, keep all your supplies in uh, that are left over or any of your other crafting supplies. But you could also use this as a gift um, during the holiday season. So it's this nice, um, very basic craft box so you could decorate it with designer paper or you could always leave it as is and do a fabulous ribbon around it but since it is like a blank canvas then you can use it for anything and I'm super excited about that. The ink spot that is included is Mossy Meadow, so you'll have that nice, fabulous, dark green color. And then the stamps are here. Uh, this large greeting says, wishing you a season filled with the special warmth of friendship, the precious joy of sharing, and the wonderful blessings of happiness. And then there's all um, single greeting uh, or I guess they're not really single because they're two words, but they're separated apart. And one says Merry Christmas, one says to you and yours, and one says season's greetings. There's also two different um, like pine cone, uh, holly, and a little leaf image too. So you can use those to decorate the envelopes, to decorate the insides, or to decorate that front piece. So we're just gonna set those aside and move the box over. And let's open this up and see how fabulous this kit really is. So of course, since it is all inclusive, it does come with a clear block that you can use for these stamps as well as all future uh, projects that you do because this is a reusable block. So you just put the stamp right on it and then um, stamp as much as you need, clean off the stamp, put the stamp back here, and you can use this on any other uh, photopolymer or clear mount stamps. Of course, we have Stampin' Dimensionals. You guys know how much I love Stampin' Dimensionals, and I use plenty of those on every project. So we also have mini glue dots. So that is your adhesive for this project. And then we can't forget the instructions too. So you can either uh, go off the front picture, which is what I typically do because I'm more of a uh, visual person rather than reading instructions. If you prefer to read the instructions though, those are all provided here for you too. Uh, so no worries on that. And again, this card kit does make 15 cards. These are a little bit larger than your regular size uh, regular medium envelopes. And it looks like the envelopes are all just whisper white. So you can then decorate with uh, the stamps and ink to uh, dazzle those things up or uh, you can wish to leave them as is. Look at this foil. And you know what? All of these, so there's 15 of these, and my biggest suggestion is always to leave them all together, and a lot of times you can punch them all out at the same time. So rather than sitting there and trying to punch out 15 different ones, you can kind of hold them together and punch them all out as one. Now you wanna be careful during this, uh, this little greenery spot. Sometimes you might need to take like just a few and punch it out, um, as there might be some pull and I'd hate to have you rip one of those little greenery pieces. But the other awesome thing is, is this solid foil piece in the center can be cut up into pieces to use on other projects. How cool is that? It's like getting a ton of gold foil to use on another project in this project kit. So that is awesome. Um, and I can't wait to, um, to be able to use that. So here, I'm gonna punch out one of them just so you guys can see how fabulous this little um, outline border looks. 
So it's got that detailed edge. Super, super fun. And that foil just adds so much gorgeous flair to any sort of card. So there's 15 of those. And let's put that one back. And then our card bases, it looks like all of our card bases are mossy meadow. But if you notice, there's sort of like a, um, a brushed look to it. So it's not just a solid card stock. There's a little like pattern and texture to the card, which makes that even more fabulous. Um, so of course, the fronts and backs are that mossy meadow with the texture and the inside is white so that you can uh, write your message on the inside. Again, you could always decorate it with the the stamps and inks provided uh, to be able to decorate that and add a little flair to the inside of your card too. So then the other items that we have are uh, these little real red banners and again I'm just doing all of them all at once so this is like punching out I think three at a time. So there is this banner it's got the little like small banner tips on either end and then you can see on this end, there's that fabulous um, greeting piece. So it's like a little label with rounded edges and it does have a, uh, an outline of that same real red on it. So I'm actually not going to punch those out because I find stamping them when they're all together like this is so much easier than stamping them individually. Ooh, look at this fabulousness. We have some gold glimmer paper, and actually I think these are stickers. <gasps> Even more fabulous. So these are actually just little dots. I have a feeling they are, um, oh, I thought they might be holly, but actually, if you notice here, they're actually just used as like little jewels. Like instead of jewels, they're just little um, glimmer paper dots. So how fabulous is that? And it definitely keeps the bulk down on the card rather than putting um, a big bulky rhinestone or something like that on there. Here we have uh, a couple more sheets of bigger labels for that larger greeting. Uh, you could always add this to the inside of the card too if you chose to do the smaller greeting on the card front, then you could always add this to the inside. Ooh, look at this, it is gorgeous. All those different varieties of pine cones, holly berries, and poinsettias and there are a ton of sheets of these. So you have a lot of options to be able to create with this, uh, to work around your photo, to go portrait, landscape, or to also decorate around a greeting if you wish to do it uh, just as a greeting card rather than uh, a photo card. I would bet to say, as most Stampin' Up! project kits are, there's tons of leftovers uh, because whatever you decide to go with, you end up having leftovers of the other pieces. So you could always get other cards uh, created out of this same card kit. So that makes this kit even more amazing. To be able to get more than the actual 15 cards out of it with the leftover pieces is super fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed the joy of sharing card kit and the unboxing and reveal to see all the supplies that are on the inside of that. And of course, if you liked it, check out the links below and you can purchase it directly from the, uh, the link in the description box. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe if you're new and don't forget to check out my blog, laurastamppad.com for lots of other card inspiration and ideas. Happy stamping everyone, bye bye.